So what I'd like to do is take a look at these four different tables and try to figure out what type of relationships are they. Like, is something here quadratic? Is something here power? Uh, so on, that sort of thing. So the way that we're going to be able to do it is we'll look at the types of change that are going on. So as x is changing, how's y changing? And on this first one, if you look at this first one, I can see that x is adding 2 each time. And as that happens, it looks like y just changes by 5, adds 5 each time. So we could call this a plus-plus relationship, right? As x changes by consistent addition, y changes by consistent addition as well. And at the end, we'll talk about what type of relationship that is. So uh, I, I'm just recognizing what's going on. So I'm looking at this one. x is changing by addition again. But y is not changing by addition, because this would be plus 60. This would not be plus 60. But it looks like it's multiplying. It looks like it's times 4 to me. Times 4, times 4. Yep. Times 4, times 4. So, but, but x is changing by, oh, that should be a 2, by addition each time. So I'm going to call this addition multiplication. So it's, as x is changing by addition, y is changing by multiplication. And if I look at this one, it actually, like, I can see this is lined up to change by addition. But if I were to look at these distances, it's not addition, it's not multiplication. This one's kind of funny. I'm going to think of this one as changing by multiplication. So like 2 times 2 is 4. And I'm just going to skip the 6 and go to the 8. Uh, 4 times 2 is 8. So as that happens, how did these change? And you know what I can do is just grab my calculator and do a little division or whatever to check it out. So I'm going to see like uh, 96 divided by 12. You might already know that, but that's okay. Looks like it's 8. And if I go 96 times 8, that pops me up to 768. So you'll notice this one, as x multiplies by something, y multiplies by a constant. So I'm going to call this a times-times relationship, a multiply-multiply relationship. And on this last one, um, you could, you know, see if it's any of these. It's not. But if you notice, as x is adding 2 each time, you know, and to find these, you just kind of guess and check. You just see. I usually check, is it linear? You know, is it plus plus? Is it this? Is it this? Is it this? I kind of check them in that order. Uh, so we haven't resolved this one yet. So let's see. This one goes up by 2. And then this goes up by, oh my gosh. I'm going to be so lazy, and I'm just going to go 206 divided by 180. Wow, by 26. And I'm going to keep looking at these changes. It looks like this one goes up by 50, and then this one goes up by something. Again, I'm going to be lazy and just use my calculator. 330 minus 256, and I get 74. Okay, so that doesn't necessarily do anything for me. Although, now I'm going to look. That was my first differences. I'm going to look at my second differences. How's it changing this way then? So if that was plus 2, so 2 to 26, that'd be plus 24. 26, oh my gosh, plus 24, plus 24. So you see how the second, right, first difference, the second difference settles down to a constant. So I'm going to call this one second difference. Now, being able to identify all of these helps me determine what type of relationship it is. Before we were looking at, like, you know, the graph, what the graph looks like. Um, just so you know, here's what these equations look like for these. And uh, we said that this first one was plus, 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 uh, plus multiplication, multiply, multiply, and second difference. This is what happens. So if my table ends up being plus, plus, this changes by addition as this changes by addition, it's linear. And I can use a linear model, right? That y equals ax plus b. And these are the points. So I can grab any two points I want, plug them in for x and y, solve for a and b. If it's plus times, it's exponential, right? So I use this model. Well, that is sloppy as heck. If it's multiply, multiply, it's a power relationship. So I use this model. And then if it's a second difference that calms down, 
like I showed before, I use the quadratic one. And then now I have a whole bunch of points. I'm given more points than I need. I just, ju just pick which three I want to use for quadratic or which two I want to use for power and solve them just like we've been solving them. All right, that is the basic idea. These are things to know which change leads to which model.